it is time for some entertainment. Mm. And Miss G. Yep, yep, is yep. She's right there. Yeah. 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 Oh, you look lovely. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that? Why were you not there? Why was I not wearing? I'm not a celeb. I wasn't invited. Oh, so, really? Yeah. So, uh, uh, it's, it's the day after the very famous, much anticipated mm, Cardi B concert. Exactly. A lot of things happened there. Yeah. But let's look at what happened prior to the concert okay. because there's an uh, Morning, can you say that? <laughs> we can. Oh, Go ahead. Morning. Why can't you say it? Oh, no, there's a problem with my Oh, there's a problem with my But, you know, Cardi B came to town. A lot of people were happy that Cardi B had showed yeah. up in Ghana. And then uh, there was supposed to be a meet and greet session mm. uh, with our celebs here. Mm. Uh, they were supposed to see... Cardi B. So a lot of them showed up at Kempiski, of course, to see her and take pictures, obviously, and maybe fraternize with her. But let's see those who made it to Kempiski. So these were some of uh, the Ghanaian celebrities who were at Kempiski, of course, to meet uh, Kadi B. But that didn't happen, so they decided to let their frustration out on social media. Let's start with um, Adia Foriel, Lebanon, and uh, which of them? Two of them, we see them. Okay, Lebanon first, and then we see Adia Foriel. Hi, Ghanaians. Hi, Africa. Um, I have an important notice to make. You cannot believe what just happened right here at Kempinski in Accra. We are here to have a meet and greet with Cardi B. And we've been here since one o'clock and it's past five o'clock. That means we've been waiting for five hours and Cardi B has not even sat down to come and say hello to us. And information reaching me is that Cardi B is upstairs having fun with herself. I mean, it's okay, but I think we need to be honest with ourselves. I think uh, Ghanaians need to say it as it is. It's not fair that we all come out here to say hello, have fun, and greet you before your show. And you don't even turn up. People have left their important things and come all the way here. All right, another celeb who wasn't happy that she couldn't meet Cardi B is Hajia for real. Hi guys, it's your girl Mona, aka Hajia for real. But guess what, guys? I'm really hurt. I'm so so disappointed. You know, I was officially invited alongside with other celebrities to come and have a meet and greet with Cardi B. But guess what? The organizers didn't even let her show up. I came to the poolside and here she was chewing kebab. <laughs> yeah, it's so embarrassing. Like, I'm sorry, like all the celebrities that came out, sorry to you guys, sorry to me. And we deserve better. Like, this is really, really sad. You know, I'm, I'm a fan. That's why I actually agreed to be here, but I was treated anyhow. Yes. For a meeting, then, and then we will be sitting here, and she's chewing kebab, who does and that? then the next thing is, Kadi B will be available at 8.30 p.m. As you have food, you know how much my time goes. Yeah. I go to work in 40 minutes, and I take 10,000 all right, so uh, you had uh, Hadja for real and, of course, Efia Shrasnega, who has been apologized to uh, by Cardi B. But now, the dance hall king, Shatawale, had some messages for the celebs who were at Kempiski waiting for Cardi B. Hey, they're gonna have to stop the rural to you. You don't have to shut to her. What's up? <laughs> Yours, he said, get nice house. Make her be come out. Don't go there. there. You put dress. You put dress. Go sit there. You dress like you go church. Can you be a stripper? Be a street girl. You understand? For this video, a lot of people do not know what to make of it. Was she teasing her colleagues or she was actually commiserating with them? Here's Fela McAfee talking for her big sisters, as she puts it. 
Hi guys, this is your girl Fela McCaffrey. So I'm very pissed right now. Um, my big sisters are out there waiting for Cardi B, and then I heard all she was doing was eating um, chichinga. Like, no, it's you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that to big brands like that. I mean, these are superstars, and you just left them there, and you were eating chichinga. Really? We deserve some apology. No, we can't take this. Let's all stand up. We can't take this. No, we won't accept it. No, we definitely won't accept this. But here's what Cardi B had to say after she was tagged several times on social media prior to the concert. And my stomach still feel low. Um, my stomach feel, still feel a little weird. But I've been having a uh, uh, stomach ache for a whole week. I think I gotta get like a colon cleansing, whatever the call that shit, or I gotta a laxative. I gotta take a laxative, cause bro, I've been having stomach ache for a whole week. Cause you could ask anybody that was downstairs. I was literally downstairs for like 15 minutes. I ate a little bit, started taking pictures. I was gonna get a tan. Damn, I got 80. I'm a lit ass. Bitch. I got 80 fucking thousand um, viewers. So there's a need for us to cash in. It's a season of Kadibi in Ghana. It's a season of kebab. So Prince Bright sparkles of uh, the defunct group Book Back. I'm talking about uh, Prince. He decided to go to the studio and make a good song for Kadibi. Talking about Kadibi chewing chichenga while the celebs were waiting for her. I see Cardi B, Cardi Cook, Toka, Rolls Royce and Tain, Chalet, Bakweka. Celebrity line up, me I see Becca. Me self I make lit, then I dare a Becca. It be there where I hear say, yeah, Kekka. Chalet the tingo, me, my minya tinka. G.H. go cool, then come consa. Me I hear say, Cardi B be a pensa. She enter the room, no straight to the bar. Come a Ben drop up for the pin whiskey, whiskey. Back in LA, we go party. We go beat and beat and choose some meat. You a long day, push side, big chew meat. Ah, Cardi B, Cardi B. Song that will be partying to Caribi, 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 song. Caribi, 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 actually upset that a lot of people had tagged her uh, in negative posts. So she went back on social media to explain what exactly happened. Because I asked my, my booking agent, right? Like, it's like, did I have a meet and greet today? And he said, no. So, hold on. So a meet and greet wasn't in my contract, right? I didn't know I had a meet and greet today. I know I had one in Nigeria and I was on time for that. I, I did all of that. I know I had one today, all right? When I woke up, I went downstairs at around 3 p.m. to soak up some sun in the pool, and my stomach started hurting. That shit was around, like, 3 p.m., right? And then I woke up. I woke up, and it's like, I see this rage going on on fucking social media, and everybody's like, yeah, you got to do a meet and greet. And I seen that there was a lot of my fans there in the meet and greet, so I'm like, you know what? I don't give a fuck if it's not in my contract and that. I'm going downstairs. And then I guess a lot of artists were upset because they got invited to the meet and greet and I wasn't there. And for that, I apologize, but then again, that wasn't my fault because it wasn't me that did that. And however, but let me tell you about this, right? Let me tell you about this that I don't fucking like because I saw a couple of females that they supposedly artists from here and I didn't know that. 
But let me tell you something. When I was around the pool around 3 p.m., which was the time supposedly that the meet and greet was going on, I was in the pool and the same girls that are talking about me on live, talking about I'm this, I'm that, y'all saw me around the pool. And it was around the time of the meet and greet. So if y'all see me around the pool, right, and I'm chilling, instead of acting so why don't you and staring at me like if I have a piece of why don't you go up to me like hey hey what's up welcome to Ghana this and that um welcome to Ghana welcome to this do you know there's a meet and greet going on so I could be aware you know what I'm saying if I was aware if I would have known I would have been like oh well I'm going over there I am a person that I get I get paid and then I would do my job and I work and on top of that I'm a person that give a about my fans and today even in the concert, I heard that the lights were off, my pyros went off, blah, blah, blah. I, I didn't even feel comfortable doing the show, but at the end of the day, I was, I'm already here, and I have people there. So, so this was actually Cardi B after the show. Bella mm. has a mouth open. Right. Wow. I mean, I, she wasn't I, comfortable. It's bad publicity because we well, know how a lot of things happened go. at yeah. that concert. And for her to say that she didn't feel you. comfortable. Yes, I'll play mm. to you what happened at the concert. We finally heard that even the Ghanaian artists who were built to perform, Shetawale Sarkodie, never got to perform. Paterankin oh, drove wow. away because he didn't get to perform. We're told that after Becca started performance, an hour after her performance, nothing was happening. Why? The audience. We're throwing bottles. We don't know what happened. What? You know, we're throwing bottles to indicate that, look, we're wasting time. Who else is coming to perform? A lot of people were billed, but oh, they wow. never got to perform. So Owusu Arai, who is my colleague here, was there at the stadium, what? and he filed this. The show has been on hold for a very long time now, and nothing is happening. Nobody is coming on stage, and nobody is communicating anything to the fans who have converged here to be part of history. And so what is happening is that the fans are flying bottles on stage right now. Yeah, I think it's a very poorly organized event. The gates open at 2. We have been sitting here to 1. I, I feel like a fool sitting here, to be honest. Okay, Nobody has come. come in here. I came around 8 something. Okay. Yeah. I feel like the whole, the whole concert also was poorly planned. I can see that Accra was an afterthought. Because initially, Cardi was going to Nigeria, right? And they saw the year of return thing. They wanted to capitalize off it. So they came. It was very poorly organized. Even the meet and greet thing they did to their celebrities or whatever. I thought it was very disrespectful. So what do you expect them to do right now? What are they you should, hoping to see? They should refund us. I yes, and they should cancel this. They should never come back here to this country to do this this concert again. Because now people also are blaming Ghanaians for what's happening. Some people have, have been on Twitter, and some people like outside the country are now laughing at us and making a, a big like mockery of out of us. This is really bad. I think it's deplorable because the fact that all they've had are MCs and DJs come for the last couple of hours. They haven't even had anybody performing. I think it was really bad performance. Look, people are throwing things at the stage. <laughs> And that's absolutely what they deserve. Very bad Bringing now. such a bad performance to this country, it's really, really upsetting. I'm glad that Ghanaians are finally speaking up because we don't speak up enough. A lot of people came here expecting to see Ghana stop acting, of course. Cardi B, American rapper who is here to headline the show. And what is happening is that the show has been on hold for a very long time. They've been waiting for hours and end to see their top musicians more on the stage and that is not happening. They are angry right now with the organizers. And thing. Hmm. So a lot oh. of things happened, including the fact that they said the DJ who was on rotation was actually playing 95% Nigerian music. Oh. And we had a lot of people come from Nigeria as well. You know, Tiwa Savage was in town as well. Mm. You know, so the music actually was a problem for a lot of industry folks because this is Ghana. Ghana. You're selling, selling Ghana. Ghanaian and music. then all of a exactly. sudden you're playing Nigerian music to someone who has just come was, from Nigeria. Was the mm. DJ on rotation a Ghanaian or Nigerian? It's called DJ Aroma. It's supposed to be Ghanaian. Oh. You know, oh. you know, so... Anyway, my time is up, but Tia is also in town, so yeah. I get to yes, bring yes, you more yes, about yes, yes. that as we well. We hope that we get and them on. I watched the interview uh, on Red Table Talk, and it would be lovely to have them on this show to mm. talk about Come marriage. Come for New yeah, Day, Tia and his difficult. wife should be <laughs> here for New Day. This is the place of return. I know, you know I, I know, I know. And Thank I you very much come. for having me. Thank Bella you. We have, we have too much information. You know? Anyway, that's about it. Thank you so much, Miss G. Very interesting end to what has been a fantastic show, I must say. Indeed. And hopefully tomorrow she'll bring us more. Yes. Certainly, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And yeah. she, she's on uh, 3 FM as well yeah. at yeah. 12.30. So okay. if you want more news, you can tune into that as well. Yeah.